What kind of things are there to do with small kids in the Murrieta area? That's what we're talking about today and we are starting right now. Hi, Jessica Janung here with Realty One Group Southwest. If this is your first time visiting my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and also clicking that bell icon so you can get notified because I talk about all sorts of cool stuff, Murrieta and Temecula Valley related. The Murrieta and Temecula Valley is well known as a safe and family friendly area. We have high ranking schools, well planned out neighborhoods with large homes, perfect for growing families. Today I'm going to be telling you about a few things to do with younger kids. I'm talking like toddler age and preschool age. There are many things to do with older kids in this area as well, but uh, that'll be another video for another day. The first place I recommend is Peltzer Winery. They're in the neighboring city of Temecula. Uh, in my opinion, they're the most family friendly winery currently. They have lots of events that include activities for kids. I'm gonna tell you about just a few of these events as examples, but keep an eye on their calendar for more. Coming up later this month is their pumpkin farm. It's a six week event on the farm and it attracts families from all over Southern California and beyond. At the farm, you'll find a variety of pumpkins, gourds, train rides, pony rides, face painting, carnival games, a petting zoo, gem panning, and pig races. So that is the pumpkin farm. In the spring, they have an event I highly recommend called Spring Social, which takes place around Easter time. It's a two-day event and has great stuff for kids and also us adults too. For kids, they have photos with the Easter Bunny, they have egg hunts, John Deere mini carts. Oh my gosh, my boys absolutely love these. And they have train rides as well. With all this family activity, it's easy for you to forget that you're at a winery. So for us adults, they have food trucks, they have a maker's market, they have live music in the evening, and wine, of course. Like I said, keep an eye on their calendar because other events come up, such as this Friday, they're having a family movie night where I believe they're showing the Toy Story movie. This one is free and popcorn and snacks are available for purchase. I've included a link down below in my description to their website where you can find out more information. My next recommendation is gonna be the Little Red Barn Indoor Playground. It's an adorable family-owned business. Myself and my mommy friends love the Little Red Barn because it's clean and there are a lot of activities for kids. The day I was there filming, they happened to be having a big group event for Mommy Fit, so this is the busiest that I've ever seen it. But typically, it's a much calmer environment for small kids compared to some of the other indoor kids' playgrounds in the area that can be a little chaotic, if you know what I mean. Little Red Barn has open play with lots of toys. You can have birthday parties there, and they have daily classes for kids, such as music class, dance class, yoga, story time, and crafts. Last time we were here at the Little Red Barn, my son Joshua loved dressing up in this fireman costume, which is ironic because we just had a huge fire near our house and evacuated, but all is well now thanks for, to the awesome firefighters. So also near the playground entrance, they have a shop with Melissa and Doug Toys galore. If you want the hours of this business and the latest pricing information, I've included a link to their website in the description below. So the next fun thing to do in the area with small kids is to take them to the splash pad. There are two public splash pads in the area. The first is at Margarita Community Park, which is a public park in the neighboring city of Temecula. This one is a little closer to our home and right near my office near the Promenade Mall. The kids love the splash pad and there are two playgrounds, one for smaller kids and one for larger kids that happen to be right next to the splash pad. There is hours worth of fun here. We have been going there on a weekend recently. And another thing that I really like is they have a couple of city employees that are assigned to keep an eye on things. They have emergency equipment with them as well. God forbid they ever need it, but it's a really nice reassurance. They also patrol the community park and I see them periodically testing the water as well. 
The other splash pad is at Canyon Hills Park. This one is north of Marietta in Canyon Hills and is a huge 18 acre community park with a nice splash pad and playground as well. Both of these splash pads are free. The last place I'm gonna tell you about in the area with activities for young kids is in the Promenade Mall in Temecula. I recommend going there on those days when it's too hot to play outside or too rainy because it's an indoor mall. There is a kids play area where parents can relax on benches while the kids play on the toys and it's semi-enclosed. There are also train rides where a uniform conductor drives them all around the upper level. My boys absolutely love this. These are just a few of the fun things to do with small kids in Murrieta. If you happen to be a mom of small kids and you live in the Murrieta area or you're planning on moving to this area, I have a couple of mommy groups that I would be happy to recommend to you. Um, these groups, you can meet other moms in the area and they schedule play dates and they're lots of fun. I've met a lot of great people through them. So just shoot me an email. My contact info is down below and I'll be happy to get you over um, the info on those groups. Also, if you are considering moving to the Murrieta area, you might also be interested in my video, Murrieta Pros and Cons, where I talk about what I love and what I hate about living in the area. I'm gonna post a link to that video right up there. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, bye.